I know Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, but I don't think you're going to find it in there. I'm not looking for Mercury, Andy. I'm trying to find the animal communicator. We're going to need it to talk to Mercury when we get there. Last I saw it, Steve said he needed it for something. Hey, do you guys like my Easter bonnet? It's made of this really expensive thing that you're both conveniently looking for. What? Oh, come on, Steve. It's not Easter. Yeah. Yes, it is. I found 12 eggs hidden in the grocery store. <laughs> nice try, Santa Claus. Huh? Great. Now how are we going to talk to Mercury? Oh, no. Why don't you just use that one? Whoa, the T-16 Skyhopper. This is the most powerful animal communicator in the world. No one even knows what it does. Huh, I have an idea. Is it to bring this remote with us and make Mercury talk? No, we should make more mini sports like mini golf. Huh? We can do mini baseball, mini football, mini badminton. Okay, enough. I like my idea a lot better. Oh, fine. Let's use it on Mercury. Wow, that was quick. Well, Mercury is on average about 48 million miles from Earth, but with this new T-16 communicator, we got here in seconds. Wow. I didn't know it could do that. What else can it do? Can it crank up the air conditioning? It's getting hot in here. Oh, I know. That's because Mercury is the closest planet to our sun. On the surface, it can reach over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though it's the closest planet to the sun, it isn't the hottest. What? That record belongs to Venus. Mercury isn't as hot because it has a very thin atmosphere. This means there's nothing to trap the sun's heat. That's cool and all, but I'm melting over here. Yeah. Come on, use that thing and crank up the AC. Okay. Oh my god, Father Part 2. You're gigantic. Wow, I'm liking this. Now I can reach the cereal in the top of the cabinet. No, uh I'm supposed to be the big one in this group. Oh, look. It's a little pocket, Mr. DeMeo. Aw, oh, enough with the small talk. Ha! Get it? Small talk? Quit joking around. I've got a little problem over here. Ha! Get it? Little problem? Enough! Fix this now! Oh, fine. Take me out of the oven. All crispy and brown. Don't want to have me all burned up and bad. I won't be eaten by your mom and dad, so it's root, root beer and soda. And I drink when I'm thirsty. Cause it's one. One, 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 two are the only letters I know. Oh, hi, everybody. Wait a second, you can talk? Not usually, but you hit that button so many times, I just had to come to life. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. If I was made of root beer and I started to cry, <laughs> Would you drink my tears? What? Uh, that's a weird question, but no. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to that squirrel over there. Hey, Mercury, you don't look big at all. Yeah. How big are you exactly? Well, I'm actually the smallest planet in your solar system. In fact, I'm actually one third the size of Earth. One third the size of Earth? That's like really small. You know what? For such a tiny planet, you sure do have a lot of pimples. That's not true. Those aren't pimples. They're craters. Many planets have craters, but Mercury has a ton. On planets like Venus, Earth, Mars, we don't see as many craters because most of them have been eroded over time from things like wind, rain, or volcanic activity. On the giant gas planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, we don't see any craters because there isn't a visible solid surface for meteors to hit. But on Mercury, where there is little to no atmosphere, there is nothing to erode the craters. Most of them are still visible. What's even more cool is that most Mercury craters are named after famous writers, artists, and composers. They're named after famous artists? Are, are any named after me? After all, I did write the space rock song, the bird chirp song, the garlic bread songs. 
Oh, uh, no. It's mostly people you haven't heard of, but there are craters named after people like John Lennon of the Beatles and the famous composer Beethoven. Oh, man. I wish I had a crater named after me. If only I was a famous artist. Maybe I can help you out with that. Is your friend okay? Yeah, he's fine. So let's talk moons. How many of those do you have? None. There are no nuns here. It's just me and that guy. No, I really don't have any moons, and neither does Venus. Some scientists think that Mercury and Venus have no moons because they're fairly close to the sun and the sun's strong gravity would interfere with anything in orbit around them. Are you just gonna leave them like that? Yeah, I kinda like the silence, but hey, how'd you come up with a name like Mercury anyway? Like most planets, I was named after a Roman god. The Romans knew of seven bright objects in the sky. The sun, the moon, and the five brightest planets. They named them after their most important gods. Because Mercury was the fastest planet as it moved around the sun, it was named after the Roman messenger god, Mercury. Mercury was also the god of travelers. According to myth, he had a winged hat and sandals so he could fly. Wait a second, what do you mean the fastest planet? Well, on Earth, a year is measured when the planet goes completely around the sun. It takes Earth 365 days to do this. But since Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, it only takes 88 days to go around it, meaning that one year on Mercury is only 88 days long. Hey, Roberta, if I lived on Mercury, how old would I be? You would be roughly 141 years old. Wow, if I were that old, I'd be covered in wrinkles. Speaking of wrinkles, did you notice that Mercury has some? As Mercury's iron core cooled and contracted, the surface of the planet became wrinkled. Scientists have named these wrinkles lobate scarps. As Mercury's interior cooled, it caused the planet to shrink in size and the crust to break and push up, making cliffs up to hundreds of miles long and some more than a mile high. Whoa. So Mercury is kind of shrinking? Yup. Think of me as a raisin, withering and shrinking over time. Over a billion years, scientists estimate that I've shrunk over four miles. As a guy who has shrunk in the beginning of this video, I totally feel your pain. Here, let me uh, use this T16 communicator, make you bigger, and get rid of some of those wrinkles. Ugh, I'm getting sick of this guy. What do you say you use that T16 and get us back home? Here goes nothing. Uh-oh, I think we lost power. Uh, that's not such a big deal. Huh? Get it? Big deal? Uh, you're really testing my short temper. Ha! Huh? Get it? Short temper? Ow! What was that for? For all the annoying small jokes. And I'm not even small anymore. I'm sorry, though. Are you okay? Yeah, I just have a tiny bruise. Ha! Huh? Get it? Tiny bruise? This video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon. Especially, Mr. Nicholas, Creed of Devon and Zach T, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Isley and Jude Siegel, Henry and Walter, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Gavin Meidel, Brenton and Cosette, Mrs. Esslinger's Third Grade Class, Elijah Robert, Nora C, Dean Scandalakis, Chris F, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Wynn and Ian Pertle, Jack Declan Page, Jacoboy Lorenzo C, Jamil, Myra, and Lana Panazai, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Henry and Lucas Teeple, Audie and Riley Biley, Ethan G, Aria and Kieran, Kai Kim, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Levi Dwyer, Maggie and Audrey Thornsberry, The Rivard Boys, Matthew and James Mondiello, Evan Lee, Amelia Murray, Michelle and Conrad, Wesley C, Owen Liam, Alfie H and Elias H, 
Harry, Roman Matthews, and Zeno the Shark. Want to get your name in a video? Visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, see behind the scenes videos, and like I said, get your name in a video. So check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. It's pink and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it. You could use it to buy cool stuff from my Teespring store like this Mercury pillow, chicken parm shirt, Roberta pillow, and more. Check the description box for a link. Plus, you can test your Mercury knowledge on my Mercury quiz at my Teachers Pay Teacher site. I have a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets that go along with my other videos there too. As always, check the description box for a link. And last, send your fan mail and art to Mr. DeMeo, P.O. Box 58, Keyport, New Jersey, 07735. Cue the music and let's check out some fan mail. Thank you. First up are some awesome Halloween costumes. There's uh, Ryan dressed as me with a little Steve puppet. He's got the mustache down and everything, love it. And the Durham family went all in. They've got everybody dressed as tons of different Mr. DeMeo characters. This one just blew me away, thanks guys. Next I got this picture of George washing machine and my neighbor Krusty Face from Stephen in Michigan. Sorry I can't write you back Steve, I'm busy making uh, chicken parmesan. I got this picture of the Triceratops from my dinosaur extinction video from Elias in Clayton, North Carolina. Thanks Elias, hopefully you are watching Ice Age 17, the search for more ice ages. I got a picture of Steve and Andy from Isley and Jude in Missouri. I love this one. They really nailed Steve's look. Thanks, guys. I got this drawing from Wyatt in Guilford, Connecticut. I think I'm saying that right. He asked why Roberta is in fewer videos. Well, I would come up with a funny reason, but the truth is Roberta is crazy heavy and really hard to lug around, so sorry. I got a picture of some donuts and then this one of, I think it's me and Andy from Jackson and Haley in Tennessee. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll make these videos videos as long as I can. Uh, I really love this picture from Ben in Wisconsin. This is me falling into the earth from my earthquake video. He even has the Crystal Pepsi and Ecto Cooler on the side there. Very cool. Ben's brother Sam in Wisconsin also sent me a picture of the black hole from my black hole video and my spaceship. Looks just like it. Awesome. I'm really digging this picture from Henry in Downington, Pennsylvania. He's got me and everybody with the planets. Even Steve's in there. He doesn't get in many pictures, so that's cool. This really interesting praying mantis picture from Lucas in Omaha, Nebraska asking me to make a video about them. I just may have to do that, Lucas. Wait and see. A few more. Next is this picture of some of the famous sayings from my planet videos from the Revard boys in North Dakota. They also asked me to make a chipmunk facts video. I don't know much about chipmunks, so maybe I'll just make one to teach myself too. I also got a nice letter from a boy named Elijah in Texas. Hey Elijah, thanks for watching. And last but not least, I got this amazing picture from Gia and Denise in Danbury, Connecticut. I am going to frame this one. It's really, really cool. Thank you, guys. It has everybody in there, too. So thank you so much. Send me some more fan mail, guys, and I'll put it in the next video. See you later. Thank you for all the stars and You Disneyland is